Hi, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. This class is all about glutes. Strong glutes is going to support you with a better posture because strong glutes supports your lower back curvature, also your knee alignment. So let's go ahead and join me on a mat. Now we have uh, my assistant here, Boki. She's going to make sure that I'm doing everything with a good alignment. So let's go ahead and lie on our back. Okay, so we're going to start with some pelvic curl. Always good to start with some pelvic curl. So have your feet aligned with the sitting bones. So hip width apart and your feet are parallel. Your knees are bent. Your arms are long by the side. Take an in-breath for me. Exhale. Just settle yourself back on the floor. Let's do one more time. In-breath. Exhale. Bring your focus internally into your body. And let's go. In breath. Exhale. Onto a pelvic curl. Start with the abdominal curling up all the way up to your bridging position. Taking care that your rib cage and your upper back do not split up to the ceiling. So I want you to really work on the abdominal contraction and work on the activation of your hamstrings and your glutes. Don't forget your inner thighs, in breath. Exhale, roll down. This is where your abs gonna work to imprint every single vertebra down to the floor and back to the floor. Again, in breath. Exhale, rolling up. Hamstrings, glute, arms working. Press up a little higher. I want you to really find your highest left position here. And breath out, melting down all the way back to the floor and release in breath and exhale rolling up 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 in breath exhale rolling down down back to the floor give me two more of this breath out rolling up rolling up rolling up Press the arms a little bit so you can lift a little higher in that pelvis and the chest in breath. Exhale, rolling down, 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 down and in breath. Exhale, rolling up. Now we're going to stay at the top. So go to your highest point. You can have your arms on your thigh, lift the pelvis up a little higher. If you haven't met that straight line, now here, Folding from the hip joint, we're going to lower the pelvis down so your back is still long here. Then you curl up, you squeeze that glutes into the hamstrings, the hamstrings are up, and then we fold through the hip. We exhale, we lift, inhale, we fold, we break it at the hip joint. And then we curl it up with the tailbone and the pubic bone up, and we lower down off the floor, exhale, we lower down, exhale, and lower down, exhale, three more, you can feel that hamstrings and equals starting to warm up a little bit, two, a little bit more, that is, one, we stay, hold it up there, now your ankle, dorsiflex, toes up, arch up, lower down, Heels up, plantar flex, pelvis is still up, and down. Dorsiflex, and lower. Plantar flex, and lower. Dorsiflex, and lower. Plantar flex, don't lose the connection of the contraction of the glutes and the hamstring here. Dorsiflex, and lower. Plantar flex, and lower. And toes up, and lower and heels up and lower two more toes up and lower heels up last one toes up lower heels up hold and now lower the heels down breath out rolling down rolling down rolling down rolling back rolling back Good job. And we're still going to do more pelvic curl moving to our shoulder bridge. We roll up. I know they are on fire, but we're going to 
Wake them up a little bit more. Go right up to your highest bridge. Lift your right heel up and bring the right leg up to a tabletop. And we lower down. We lift. We lower down. We lift. We lower. We lower. Three more. Stabilize the pelvis. Two. One. We hold. We roll the spine down, single leg pelvic curl in breath. We roll the spine up. We roll back down again. And we roll back up. And down. And up. And down. And up. We stay. We lower the foot down, re-establish the pelvis position, and the other leg will come up. And let's go lower. We lift and down. We lift and down. Down. And three. And two. And one. We hold single leg pelvic curl. We roll down. We roll up, we roll down, we roll up. Observe which side is a little bit more challenging for you to roll up and down on one leg. Okay, and that's the side that you need to keep working on. And then roll up, two more. And then roll up, last one. And roll up, hold, lower the foot down, reestablish the pelvis position, and roll the spine back down. Okay, bring your heels together. So your feet are in a V position, a slight external rotation at the hip joint here. So your knees are wider than before. I want you to lift the heels up. So you are in plantar flex here. And then more pelvic curl, we roll it up, right up to the bridge and roll it down. Watch out for the cram. <laughs> I got mine, I got mine on the right thigh and roll up, that's it, in breath. And then roll down and all the way. And then we roll up, right, right up to the highest bridge. And my assistant ran away, he rolled down. And then come back down. And then we roll up, right up to the bridge, highest point ever. And we roll down, all the way back to the floor. Again, three more, and up. And, and down. And two more, and up. Don't forget to activate your arm as well. Last one, so your arms are anchoring down to the floor and give that pelvis and chest a little push by pressing down a little bit more and come back all the way down and release the heel. Okay, have your feet a little bit wider, so as well as your mat perhaps, palms out to the side, arms open, some hip rolls here, rotate to me. And then return. Rotate to the other side. You can turn your head in opposite direction and come back. Rotate to me. You can turn your head in opposite direction and come back. And to the other side and come back. And to me and stay. I want you to bring the opposite heel on top of the thigh and press down a little bit more. So give yourself a little bit more stretch on the thigh. And release that. And over to you, opposite heel on top of the thigh, and then gently press it down to the floor, and release that, come back to center, and let's turn your body facing me. More glutes. All right, side lying, bottom arm is long. I want you to have the bottom thigh in front of you like so, so about 90 degree angle at the knee, and then the top leg's nice and long, and activate your lower waist here. So none of the slacking of the 
waistline down, but I want that support from the underneath side. Hands on the hip socket here. Now relax the top leg and slide internal here. So for some leg lift, we lift and down. Let's do 10 here, two and down. The pelvis is stable. The movement comes from the hip joint and down and 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 five and four and three and two and one now we go forward folding at the hip we lift down and back we go forward up and down and back forward up and down and back flex from the hip lift up down and back your spine is still in a long line your pelvis is stable forward up down back forward up down back forward up down back and four more down back three up down back two up down back one up down back now we go forward this is where you lower and lift the breathing is like the hundreds we exhale shh, 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 shh. inhale exhale shh, shh, shh. inhale imagine you're dipping your foot in a hot pot of soup you're out it's hot and lift it up lift it up lift it up and down 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 and and down and lift lift left 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 and up 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 one more set and and how do i look bulky and then bring the leg back how do i look and then release good job all right now let's bring yourself up oh excuse me all right so how do i look good okay she thinks I'm in a good alignment, so that's good. Right, so prop yourself up into your side bridge. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> right, now, hands behind your head. We're moving on to our clam here. Again, really wanting to support the underneath side here, so don't let your body slash out. If this is your posture, you make the work a lot heavier, and you're going to hurt that shoulder one day. So lift it up. All right, change my mind. Not here, but here. I want you to lift the pelvis up. All right, maintain that stability here and open the thigh. And done. By the way, your feet are aligned, stacked together with the spine. Open and lower and open and lower. On five, we'll do 10 here. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine and 10 okay we lower the leg not the leg the pelvis and for a second and we lift it up again extend the top leg long little rainbow leg we lift up in front of the mat and back of the mat in front of the mat this is still stable and back of the mat and forward and back and forward and back and forward and back Five more forward and back. Four more forward and back. Three forward and back. Two forward and back. Last forward and back to the side. Bring it in. Lower down and come up. Other leg. Let's start all over again. Allow on your side. Bend the bottom knee. Okay. So half your whole body in a one straight alignment. So lift the underneath waistline. Okay. Hands on your hips. And float the leg up. Relax the foot and slide internal. We go up and down. And up and down. Now the second side is going to be a little bit more challenging because the opposite side is already worked out. So you feel it a little bit more tougher I guess that's the word and we've got five four three two 
and one. We go forward, forward, up. Excuse me, Pokey, and back. And forward, up. You gotta move away, honey. And forward, up, down, and back. And forward, up, down, and back. And forward, up, down, and back. And I hope I don't hit your head, Pokey. And back, and forward, up, down, and back. Three more, up, down, watch the waist. Two more, up, down, and back. Last one, up, down, and back. And we've got the forward, lower and lift, hold your back. We've got exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, lift the bottom waistline up, and exhale, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, three, four, five, and a little dip, and lift, two, four, five, and last set, three, four, five, and in, breath, three, four, hold, lift, back, and down, whoops, sorry, and let's go, bring legs together, stack the feet, aligned, up onto your forearm, <laughs> are you teaching now? <laughs> All right, she's definitely has taken over my mat, okay, so lift up your center, right, stack the legs, make sure the feet are aligned with your pelvis, we lift up into your side bridge, and we open, or clamp, and lower, and two, lower, and three, lower, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, nine, last one, 10, lower, down, just a split second, and we come up again, extend the leg, we're gonna go up and roll, up and over, rainbow bell, bokeh, we go forward, over bokeh, and back, over bokeh, and down, over bokeh, and back, this is a new name exercise for you, Boki. Over Boki and back. Over rainbow, forward and back. And I totally lost my count. I think we have four, maybe. And uh, we've got four. And then back. And then three. And uh, back. And uh, two. And uh, back. And uh, last. And uh, back. Center. Bring it in. Lower, whoo, bit of a burn. I will need to hammer those bottom for a second. And we've got more. Okay, time to go to our knees, hands and knees, right bokeh. Okay, so align your shoulder and your wrist. Right, so we got this series here. We're going to bend. I'm gonna use my right leg first here. So bend the right knee and then take the foot up, yes, and then we'll lift up and we fall. From the hip we'll lift and we go down. So imagine you have a cup of tea resting on your pelvis. I want that cup of tea to still stay on your pelvis. Lift, down, lift, and down, and five, down, four, down, three, down, two, down, last hold, little pulses for 10, up and up, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, bring it down to the side, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight, nine. Hold out to the side, little pumps, and up, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down, extend the leg behind you, and let's lift. Take care that you don't sway your lower back down. Right, hold the abdominal, move from the hip joint on three. 
and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, last ten, little pumps, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bring it in, and other leg. I'm going to turn myself for the sake of the camera so you can see my leg better. So we've got the bent knee hip extension. We lift and we fall. And two. And we fall. Three. How do I look, Boki? How's my alignment? Four. Nah, she's not really watching my alignment. <laughs> and six. And seven and eight, two more, nine, last one, we stay up, little pumps, and up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bring it into the side, out, in, and two, and three, and four, and five, Six, seven, eight, two more. Last time we stay, we lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down. Extend. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> All right, let's go. We lift and lower and two and lower, strong back, strong center, up. Watch that you don't sweat the lower back. Again, imagine you have a cup of tea resting on your pelvis. We do not want to spill that tea. And four more, and three more, and two. Last hold, little pumps, and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bring it down, bring it in, onto a quadruped, let's do some cat stretch, we round to finish up, and into a flat back, extend the upper back, again, we round, curl, 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 and then we flatten and extend the upper back, and two more round, curl, 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 in breath, flat, and extend, last one round, in breath flat, and extend, now here I want you to cross one leg in front of the other knee, and just sit the pelvis back like a rest position, and just stay there, and you should feel a little stretch in your glute, and release that. A hello, and then the other one. All right, and sitting back, pelvis back, reaching, and come back done. And on that note, my friend, we are done. You can give those glutes a little hammer, a little rub. Well done. Well done for completing the whole class with me. Just don't sit down just yet. Keep yourself mobile, and keep yourself hydrated, and I will see you back on the mat tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Take care. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to love, look, and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and pin on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.